Uh, someone, uh, Sue, came to me and said uh, that Corruption of Champions had received a major update. So uh. apparently they did the, he, the, the guy who made it, he did the Minecraft thing where he just said, okay, well, I'm going to go on to other projects. Uh, but he left it in the hands of a team that's been still adding stuff, right? Right. But I mean, well, actually, the, the, the guy who made Minecraft is like doing nothing now. So I guess that's a terrible analogy. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah, didn't he? The Minecraft guy had some sort of like a emotional breakdown or something on Twitter. I think he had a series of concatenated breakdowns on Twitter. <laughs> like, That's great. I love when people share their breakdown. That's the great thing about the internet. People used to do that shit at home, like in the bathroom. Now they just go on Twitter and they Now just they like, take a selfie as they're in there in the fetal <laughs> position. <laughs> <laughs> Precisely. It's fucking amazing. I love it. Uh, he's like, I'm just lonely, lonely with my millions and millions of dollars. Yeah. Well, uh, what yeah, the fuck, on, dude? See, this is where, where the, the expression rich man's problem comes up. It's like, dude. Mm -hmm. Like, nobody loves me for me. Like, so what? Yeah. <laughs> like, I understand. Like, well, I mean, that, that, those are the odds, dude. The odds were if you were poor, nobody would love you for you. Right? Like, that, that's just yeah. the <laughs> Most people just don't like you. And that's fine. You know, somebody will like you eventually. But, I yeah, it's it. nice to have the money, man. People want Someone money, will right like now. you eventually. Just keep doing this. <laughs> yeah, just keep, just keep having these weird emotional fucking, uh, like, uh, dumps on Twitter. Just fucking, you know, do this and eventually somebody will find that appealing, maybe. Yeah. But, so, I mean, like, is this a, uh, like, a continuation, or did they just take the original game and add, like, more content? Yeah, they, they just they just keep adding more content. It's the same right. game. And, and on that note, you have to make a decision. Do you want to start off fresh, or do you want to do a new game plus mode? What's, uh, what's the new game plus? Uh, you start off with a lot of the power that you ended you, you had last time. I think all the events are reset, but you start off stronger. Hmm. I don't know because like if I, how would I continue? Because I remember last time I. Yeah, you you got an ending. You'll you'll have to. Hmm. Okay. Well, fuck. I feel like maybe maybe we should uh, do another playthrough. I guess. From scratch? I mean, it, yeah, I mean, if there's a lot more kind of... Like, I'm thinking, like, how long could we possibly go if I just start where I left off? Or well, did you, I... Well, you won't start... I don't, I don't think you start where you left off. But you just start off with your... Your old, uh, like, the levels. Okay. All right. All right. Well, fuck it. I suppose we should do that. Okay. I mean, the, yeah, yeah. Let's just, let's just fucking do that. That'll work. Okay. Mullet wants to relive all the trauma. Okay, so game loaded. Okay, so can you see okay? I can, perfectly. Alright, so <laughs> first things first, we'll level up. You have, yeah. uh, okay, you're now level two. Okay, so, uh, oh, so you gotta go through all, like, and just re-level and everything? Yeah, exactly. You have all, basically, basically you, you have your experience, and you had the gems that you had when you stopped. Oh, that's good stuff. Okay. Um, let's see, what did I spend, uh, I think I spent a lot on... Strength last time, if I recall, maybe. Okay. Uh, so this time, um, let's try to just like divide it up evenly between, like, say, strength and toughness. So just like you know, throw okay like three or so on strength, and then like throw three more on toughness or something. Just keep okay. kind of going back. Okay, and, and then I'll uh, once we get all your stats allocated, then we'll choose the perks. Right. Well, I can't even re remember what level I made it to. All right. Yeah, last time I was taken by surprise. Like I didn't think the game was going to end that quickly, but I guess it really didn't if you think about it. Yeah. yeah. Oh wait. Okay, so that's it. You went to uh, level eight. Level eight. So yeah, it wasn't that. All right. So strong. And you back. have perks. You have strong back, tank, and resistance. Cool. All right. That all sounds good. Yeah, because I was hopefully like, you know, a little bit more defense would be nice, you know, possibly maybe. I don't know. I don't know how much I had last time or if that's even what toughness is. I'm assuming that's like defense. Yeah, it's, it's your physical defense. Mm. See, tank. That gives you additional 50 HP. 
And then nice. resistance. Resistance is a lust defense thing. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Yeah, because that, that could be a pain in the ass, man. Fucking lust. And then strong back is more items. Or right. one more item. Right, right. Cool. I think you may have to take all three of these because uh, you don't have other op options available. Yeah, that's fine. They all sound fine to me. That'll work. Okay, strong back. Uh, let's see. Tank. There you go. Cool. Yeah, like when you say like COC plus, I thought you were going to make me like add like a whole bunch of like levels of political agenda to my playthrough or something. <laughs> like, <laughs> like I was, a, it's COC plus. We're no longer going to be disrespectful of women and minorities plus, you know, and just on and on and on. We're not going to commit any microaggressions yeah. during we're, the gameplay. We're, yeah, exactly. Yeah. We're, we're the original COC, but with morals. <laughs> well, whose morals? Which morals? The correct morals. Right, obviously. Yeah, obviously the correct ones, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good stuff. All right. So, starting anew, and let's see. Let's just sit here and masturbate for like an hour. No, I'm just kidding. Um, let's <laughs> Actually, you should probably should because you should get your... Oh, nose. I didn't notice. Yeah, okay, cool. You got to remember. You got to remember the lust stuff. Okay, let, yeah. let's actually let's see if you have perks. Uh, we have You have four surplus, surplus perks because you don't have stats high enough to get more. Oh, okay. And you uh, had a new history, Slacker. Wow. Okay, stats... Okay. Yeah, so everything's everything's reset to normal. You're a human again. Cool. Oh, well, yeah, that is cool for now. I don't think it's going to last. Oh, and uh, your <laughs> HP is really low. I'm going to rest. Oh, okay. I oh, no, it's, it's not really low. It's that uh, it was like when we, when you leveled up, it didn't it doesn't like heal you. And when you level, I guess, or yeah. Yeah. Okay, so there you go. So the whole first day, it looks like, was just. Masturbating and sleeping. Excellent. That's a good day. I mean, here, that's a fucking great day. And it's probably yeah. going to be... That, that's more. Notch's whole day. In which, all you had to do <laughs> is tweet out some butt hurt on the... Right. Yeah. Cry a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> add, add some crying in between the masturbating and napping. And yeah, a day in the life of Notch. Poor Notch. What a, what a terrible life. I know. What a, <laughs> I don't know. I mean... I, I don't, I'm not I'm not like some communist who's like oh boy I hate rich people but I do hate rich people who fucking complain. <laughs> right. <laughs> and the other thing is like here's here's the kind of mindset I have like if I'm filthy rich and I have everything I could possibly want and I'm like depressed and sad the first thing I'm gonna go do is see a fucking therapist. Yeah. Right? Because this, there's obviously something wrong with my brain. This yeah. isn't. This is not a normal <laughs> reaction. Okay, like, like, I should be very fucking happy. So it's time to get a very expensive therapist. By the way, maybe a therapy animal, maybe a dog that I can bug the shit out of everyone with at a restaurant and tell them I need it. I would, would hire the actress that played the therapist from The Sopranos, pay her an exorbitant sum to actually go to the appropriate schools and become an <laughs> actual therapist, and then have her sit down. <laughs> and listen to my problems. That's good shit. Oh yeah, that'd, that'd be fucking worth doing for sure. Then hit on her, make her feel real uncomfortable. All right. I, I, someone, it. someone else, someone else was saying that they didn't want to go to therapy. They they were complaining about some shit, and uh, they're like, "Oh, yeah, the therapy's so expensive. I don't know if it's worth it." And I'm like, "Well, I I sympathize with the therapist. I mean." They have to listen to your problems for an hour. I've been listening to your problems for five minutes, and I already feel like you owe me money. <laughs> yeah, you should fucking start paying me immediately. Uh, fuck. That's good shit. All right. Let's see here. Day one again. So I'm going to play this as if Mullet has no fucking memory whatsoever of the trauma that he suffered. Oh, this is Mullet Jr. Oh. Yeah, we oh. agreed when we made the character. This is the son of Mullet. Ah, oh, son of Mullet. Good, good. All right, so he really doesn't understand the trauma that his father went through. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't understand. Like, he'll he'll go to the entrance of, like, the plains, and there will be, like, warnings scrawled on a rock and by, right. by his dad, and he'll be, like, he'll just, he'll just be, like, the main character of, like, Fallout 3. It's like, oh, my dad went this way? Oh, I have to keep going. <laughs> and then he goes into the capital and gets, like, sodomized by a bunch of super mutants. <laughs> 
<laughs> Good stuff. All right, let's do it. Let's explore. Let's get this shindig. All right. So, so here's the message again where it says, talks about how uh, how hard it is to navigate. Okay, the forest. Cool. All right, decision new locations. Or let's check the forest out, man. It's fucking uh, Mullet Jr.'s first day in the forest. Oh, the Tainted Glade. <laughs> the tainted uh, okay, some white goop shoots down into your face. Mm hmm That's it. Different. <laughs> That's all. Huh? all right. <laughs> We're done here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I feel like uh, Mullet Jr. is going to have the same attitude, though. Like, you know, uh, last time I went to the woods, was sort of jizzed on, let's go back to the woods. <laughs> yeah. Oh, an imp. An imp all leaps right. out of the bushes. Now, I should be kicking its ass this time around. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay, let's go. Cool. So you don't, you don't have any specials because you don't have your shark teeth and you don't have your bow, right? right. But you can punch it. Yeah, yeah, just uh, bam, take that bam. slut. Yeah. Uh, he uses a spell. Oh, but that took him down to eleven percent. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, this bam. is good. Five However, chances. yeah, the Plus downfall the is is that you know I'm a higher level now, so the XP is not really going to be that great for a while. I yeah. Well. It's a rich man's problem. Yeah, it is. But I've got so much. It's so depressing. You got some imp food. Reddish brown meat stuff. A uh, reddish brown bread stuffed with some kind of meat. Smells delicious. Do you? Yeah, I mean. Oh you know, shit! I... You kept your gear. Oh. Okay. Full Damn. plate mail and a beautiful sword. Badass! I didn't know that was gonna happen. Yeah. It, you know, am I like? Is it equipped or do I need? Yeah, to it's equipped. equipped. Okay, killer. Awesome, dude. Um, I guess we'll just uh, hang on to it, I guess. The imp food, that is. Okay. Can I do that? Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, we'll just hang on to it. All right, so we'll uh, masturbate, heal, master heal, master heal bait. There we go. All right. All right, we will explore again. Let's see. Yeah. Yay. Let's go to the forest one more time. Give it a shot. Uh, okay, uh tired of exploring the forest for the moment you feel like heading back to camp uh mm -hmm. let's see you recoil as you're struck but the force of the blow does little more than leave you momentarily dazed so oh, i'm sorry you spooked me the mouse says and here he is down here do you accept his apology um no 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 i'm a <laughs> dick no i'm not a... okay he says <laughs> okay but i guess it's fair no harm done right no, 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 there was harm done. That's uh, no. His name is Jojo. Pleased to meet you. Meditate, leave, or rape? Rape the mouse. Fuck this. <laughs> I'm sick of this. No, already, I'm tired of this shit. <laughs> He's ahead. like, enough of my woes, though I don't feel any corruption within you. It's always best <laughs> to be prepared. Would you care to join me in my meditation? <laughs> yes, rape him. I have this uh, vision of like him talking, and then it's one of those like sh scenes from a cartoon where it's like the shadow of mullet. Like, the shot is on him, and right. his shadow just looms over him. <laughs> I sense no corruption within you, and the fucking shadow comes in. It's like, well, you're not very good at sensing shit, are you? <laughs> yeah, your intuition is dog shit. Oh, man. You, yeah, rape You the, pretend to rape agree, the... follow him into the woods. Uh, you push him hard, he struggles. Uh, yep. And, uh... <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, what's funny about that is, as you said, yep, I was reading some of those, you come hard pressing his muzzle into the dirt, and you're like, yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's good stuff. With a satisfied sigh. See, this is a good day. Like, I, I've realized, I've learned from uh, the stories of my father... You have to be assertive in the demon rape. <laughs> it's rape or be raped. That's just it. That's just the fucking thing. That's so. my purse. <laughs> well, I'll be the fucking judge of that, too, won't I? Yeah. yeah. All right. So, uh -uh, we didn't get to rob him, too? That's a bummer. No, you didn't get... No. No you know, chance. Next, next time I hit him over the head with something and rob him, that would be better. And then rape him, perhaps. Okay. Let's explore. Also, I got into a conversation with somebody about whether or not rape was funny. In at this point in history, that was a conversation that I had to have with someone. Yeah. 
Right. Yeah. And by the way, a comedian. It, what? Like an, yeah. He was an actual comedian. Like, and I've seen him around YouTube before. I've seen his username, but I didn't realize he was like a stand up comedian. And he had mentioned in a comment to somebody else, hey, check out my, my comedy. So I looked him up. Eh, meh. Not too good. But <laughs> um, it was good enough, I guess. But it was all really cliched kind of shit. Yeah, well, there's this new wave of Russell Brandt type comedians. It's like comedians who take everything seriously. Mm. It's really? Like, oh, that sounds, sounds lovely. Like a, yeah, it sounds like a shitty comedian. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's just comedians who are just full of preachy bullshit. No, but he, he had said, uh, what was his comment? Um, real talented comedians, this is exactly what he said, they punch up. Hacks. Oh, God. Punch down. Hacks punch down. So I had to reply, of course. I said, simply in a nutshell, I was like, no, nah, that's incorrect. I'm sure I could look up many comedians whom you would consider great, and I could find a thousand examples of what you would call them punching down. So, of course, he goes, examples, please. I said, okay, let me see if I understand. You want me to watch a shitload of stand-up material and provide you with examples that you should know because you're, like, in this business. Yeah. Okay, fine. So I thought of a couple off the right off the top and all this other shit, and of course everything I said, he said that's not punching down for some reason. Uh, right? What a like, fucking yeah! Even like George Carlin, like uh, you know, doing this thing where we're going to send all of these different people to different like states, like the drug addicts and alcoholics go to, uh, you know, Colorado, and they're going to sit there and do all their drugs. Out. So I was like, oh, so drug addicts and alcoholics are as privileged as uh, people like celebrities like George Carlin, that's what you're saying? Right, I mean, I could take your stupid fucking logic and pretty much do anything I want with it because it doesn't require any thought, right? So yeah. it's just, so I started giving him all these examples. Of course, none of them were appropriate, and uh, he ended the conversation by not changing his mind. That was yeah. <laughs> pretty much how that went predictably. Did he right? even put up a fight? What, I mean, did he, did he make any kind of argument after that? Not really. He was just, sort of, like everything I said, he just kind of kept denying that it was punching what's the stupid word punching down he was denying that's what it was and then i went and looked up his act and he does a bit about weed and about how it would be cruel to give starving people weed because you know they'd be really super hungry or whatever that was like the joke but yeah. i was like yeah i was like hey and way to make fun of poor people yeah. eh, starving kids are hilarious i'm sure they're very privileged at least as privileged as the comedian who's making fun of them right yeah. I was like, how how deep do you want this to go dude this is so easy yeah i mean this well, the, all the, fucking day the first time i heard that and i don't know if it was, it was uh gary trudeau uh it's like okay they they he refi he like boycotted some ceremony where uh uh, the the Charlie Hebdo guys were being uh, awarded mm -hmm. for you know courage and getting shot <laughs> and uh, or whatever right and uh, he he said well you know the same thing you know, true satirists they they punch up and I thought okay well if, in order to even think like that it means that you ha already have a list in your mind of who's up and who's down yeah you would have to sure yeah, uh, yeah otherwise you can't even say that you can't even right. You, you can't even utter those words. You can't think like that unless you have some list that you either wrote down or just exists in your mind who's up and who's down, right? Right, right. And the fact that you... I mean, there, there's a word for people who have groups of people that they consider categorically superior or inferior, and they're called <laughs> bigots. Right. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And, of course, that's my favorite feature of it is that... Um, you have all these people making the decisions about who is privileged and who is not. Okay, like for in some examples, it's pretty obvious, right? If you're talking about like using the word in its proper, you know, with its proper definition, right? Um, which none of these people ever seem to be concerned about who has privileges and who lacks privileges. Yeah, right. That's never really the fucking conversation. Um, it's just a, uh, you know, it, it it blows my mind. It's always just a, uh, they, they're like speaking for demographics or groups that they aren't a part of and i'm like you don't see the fucking irony in this you don't see, understand how like you are assigning yourself <clears throat> as like the speaker for this this entire group that you're not even a fucking part of you're just telling you're like coming to their rescue is that a reflection of your privilege i don't follow